Welcome to this SEGO technical training demonstration. This demonstration will provide a tour of the SEGO management system or XMS graphical interface and demonstrate the procedures needed to begin managing SEGO IO directors with XMS. For the purposes of this demonstration, it is assumed that an XMS server is already installed according to the directions provided in the standard product documentation. First we will connect to the XMS server. Provide the XMS server name or IP address, port 8880, and the path XMS in the address bar of a supported browser. The XMS login screen is displayed. We will log in using the default username of admin and the default password of admin. The summary screen is the first thing you see after logging in. Notice that this XMS server does not have any SEGO IO directors under management. We will complete a procedure that will change that shortly. Now let's proceed with the tour of the XMS interface. The summary section of the screen provides a snapshot of all the devices managed by this XMS server. At the top of the screen is a summary of current alarms. There are buttons that display the version of XMS and that provide logout and help. On the left side of the screen is the accordion widget that provides access to objects under management and functions provided by XMS. The Overview tab shows the overview screen and a graphical topology view of the SEGO IO directors and physical servers. The Inventories tab provides access to physical resources under management like IO modules and storage targets. The Virtual Resources tab shows us the virtual NICs, virtual HBAs, and other configuration settings related to virtual resources. The Configuration tab has User Management and the VMware integration features. And finally, the Events and Alarms tab provides access to alarms, alarm history, and InfiniBand port statistics. The last item on our tour of the overview screen are the common tasks at the bottom of the page. Note that the only tasks available are Scan and Discover. The other common tasks will become available when SEGO IO directors are brought under XMS for management. We will now use the scan feature to find the SEGO IO directors on the management network. Simply press the scan button and a broadcast is sent to the management network on a specific port that the SEGO IO directors are listening to. When we refresh the screen, we will see the SEGO IO directors that have responded to the scan. Select the SEGO IO directors you wish to discover and press the discover button. The discovery process collects all the configuration data from the chassis. Password is required when downloading configuration data. If the chassis have unique passwords, then a separate discovery process is required for each chassis. Enter the password and click Finish. Click Close to see the status screen of the discovery process. It can take up to 20 seconds to complete the discovery process for each chassis. Click the Refresh button to update the status of the discovery process. Once the discovery phase shows Discovered, then we can see the results in the overview page. Notice that two SEGO IO directors are now being managed by this XMS server. Also notice that all the common tasks are now available. Now that we have some SEGO IO directors under management, we can display the topology of the environment. In this example configuration, we have three physical servers connected to each of two separate chassis. Finally, let's look at an object summary page in XMS. These pages are very similar among all the different types of objects. We will tour the I.O. module summary page. Notice that there are buttons to select all, and deselect all the objects in the list. Once objects are selected, you can apply actions to those objects. Also, there are many sorting and filtering capabilities that allow you to display just the objects you're interested in. With these few basic skills and a little bit of practice, you will be able to complete any virtual I.O. management function using XMS.
That completes this tour of the XMS graphical interface. Thank you for your attention. In other SEGO technical training demonstrations, we will complete all of the tasks required to get virtual interfaces up and running on your physical servers.